Hi, this is Austin. Today I'd like to share how to solve this differential equation. First, let's rewrite the equation. We can first factorize x. So we should have x 1 plus y squared times dx is equal to bring this to the right plus become minus ex squared y dy. We rewrite the equation again with x on one side without x on the other side. So this is x dx. This is without x, so we bring it to the right. Times bring over become divide. 1 plus y squared. And this is with x. So times bring over divide. Minus e x squared. And those remain y dy. Rewrite again, so we have x minus e to the power of negative x squared. Since this is denominator, so to the power of negative the x is equal to y over 1 plus y square dy. Integrate both sides with respect to x. All we have to do here is check is there any standard form when we integrate so that it's easier. So when we differentiate the power negative x square, we should obtain negative 2x. However, this is only negative x, so which means that 2 is missing. We add 2, of course, we need to divide 2. Make sure that it's balanced as compared to the previous line. And so for the right-hand side, when we differentiate the denominator part, we should obtain 2y. Also, 2 is missing, so we add 1 over 2 as well. 1 over 2 cancel with 1 over 2, so which means that we just have to simply integrate negative 2x e negative x squared dx is equal to integrate 2y over 1 plus y squared dy. When we integrate this, since this is already the standard form, so which means that we have the exponential function. e to the power negative x squared, remember to add the constant c for the x term. And equal to, when we integrate this standard form, so ln 1 plus y squared. Take exponent for both sides. Recall that according to law of indices, we have e to the power of a plus b is equal to e to the power of a times e to the power of b. So which means that for this part, we can rewrite as e to the power of e to the power of negative x squared times e to the power of c. And let's say we want to use back the constant c, we can introduce a subscript 1 so that we can introduce another dummy called c2 is equal to e ln ln e we obtain 1 so which means that we have 1 plus y squared and this is equal to c2 e to the power of e to the power of negative x squared where c2 is equal to e to the power of c1 1 plus y squared and we just have to express y in terms of x. So y squared is equal to c2 e to the power of e to the power of negative x squared minus 1. If let's say we don't want the square, we can rewrite y is equal to plus minus square root of c2 e to the power of e to the power of negative x squared minus 1. And hence, with that. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.